Good morning and welcome to the weekly number six and today is Sunday and I am headed out for worship and it looks a bit different for me today. I am working in a ministry setting that several churches have come together and are working together because we know that we can do more together than we can apart and I'll explain that better in a later uh, video but what that means is this morning I am going to be hopping to three of those churches and giving the message this morning. And now I've been to one of those churches on a Sunday morning before, but the other two I've only been to during the week for like meetings and things. So I've never worshipped with them on a Sunday and so I'm feeling a little nervous. Um, my colleagues have shared with me there's nothing to be nervous about, you'll be fine. but. They've done this before and some of them do it on a weekly basis and so for me it's something new and so we're going to go and do that this morning and so today I feel like a true historical Methodist in that I am participating in a circuit. <laughs> so that'll be fun um, and then youth group afterwards. So I'll take you along and we will hop some churches today and share God's message with those that we meet. So let's go. Church number one is done, and now I'm here at church number two, and I'm feeling a little frazzled already. <laughs> but here we go. Church number two. Hey y'all, so I just finished church number three this morning, and there was no time in between two and three to check in with you. It's just run from one to the next. Um, it was a good experience. It was nice to be a part of those uh, communities because they are uh, part of the churches that I work with and I don't uh, get to see them on Sunday mornings and so it was nice to meet them. Um, I found it a bit challenging because like you're just hopping church to church so there's no time to like enter into any sort of relationship other than hi nice to meet you um and so i met a lot of people today and i hope to get to know them more in the future um i'm not really sure how that looks or what that would be like but that's just kind of my first thought that and like i am exhausted right now but um yeah that's just part of it, I guess. Um, incredible experience and now I'm headed out to my church to lead youth group. So one more thing and then I feel like I can breathe. But it's been incredible and I have a newfound respect for my colleagues who do this every single week. Um, and yeah, I'll check in with you later. I'm just a ramble mess right now. <laughs> hey y'all, so I am home from what feels like a whirlwind of a day. Uh, started uh, 8.45 at a church this morning and it is almost 2.30 now and I'm just getting home and basically during that time, as you'll have kind of seen, I hopped to three different churches to be a part of worship and then I went to back to my primary church and led youth group for the youth from those churches and um, while I know my video looks like a rambled mess that's just I was feeling a bit frazzled during all of that because I don't generally fill that role and so um, I do look a bit frazzled and uncertain and after three sermons I just couldn't just rambled for a while um, but I want to say that it was a great honor and privilege to be able to be welcomed into those communities um, and to be received so kindly and to be able to be a part of worship. The cool thing for me I felt was that they had all kind of heard about me through the grapevine and so they were all very welcoming and like also it was cool because I went to three churches and all of their worships while we are Methodist, they did look um, similar, but not completely similar. There were a lot of differences in the way that each community worshipped, and so it was cool to be a part of the different ways that worship was expressed this morning. And just to be welcomed into a community to uh, share with them as they continue to grow in their faith. And so I think I found it to be a really a profound and powerful um, morning today. But um, now I think I'm just going to chill for a while and probably just check in with you all tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to Monday. 
today and this week we're kind of playing ahead a little bit. Um, next week I'm going away for a work trip meeting thing and conference and so um, this week I have to kind of play ahead for next week since I won't be around. Um, so headed to the office and lots of computer work to do today but I might check in from time to time. Um, but happy Monday. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday and welcome to snow. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday. Today there is no snow, so we're already off to a different start today. Um, but it is, it's raining, but what else is new? Um, so headed to the office, long day of working, and then we have worship team tonight and young adult group, so it'll be fun, but lots to get done. Um, I'll check in. but I couldn't get warm today. Um, so I've put on some extra layers and heading out uh, to this evening's activities. Um, checking in with the worship team for this week, the praise band to see how they're doing and go to their rehearsal and then going down for um, young adult group. And we're doing spiritual practices tonight, so that'll be a lot of fun. Hey y'all, it's Thursday and things have been crazy so far. Um, it's already almost 12 o'clock, but i um, been in, visited with some people who were here at the church, then I went out and did a house visit with someone, and now I'm back and have some work to do this afternoon. But first, someone is coming by to uh, take photos of myself and my office manager because yesterday, um, one thing I forgot to mention was I was interviewed by the magazine of, of town and they um, wanted to do a story on young pastor which I thought sure why not I'll talk about our church might um, reach out to some people who need church and um, then they said you need a photo and they weren't satisfied with any of my photos <laughs> so um, I've asked a friend to come in and um, do photos which will be good then I can have one for the future whenever I need it but yeah, just, I guess, the one thing that I really love about being pastor is that no day looks the same, and everything always changes and shifts and is different, and you'll expect to do a certain amount of things on one day, and then everything gets shifted at once with random things that you never thought you would be doing. <laughs> so I'm trying to just get um, those things done today and some other work done. Um, because next week, as I said, I'll be gone, and so things to do. <laughs> so little time, but I just wanted to check in and say hi. Happy Thursday. Good morning, and welcome to Friday. Today is my day off, at least for most of the day. I have something tonight, but so this morning I am going down to my parents' house and I'm gonna pick up their puppy and take him over to my grandparents' house. I like to try and go to grandma and grandpa's at least every week or every other week. Um, just like to spend time with them and I'm glad that I'm finally serving in a church that is closer to family and so I'm going to take advantage of that and go and spend time with them today. So let's go pick up Tuck. <laughs>
happy Saturday. This morning I was up and out for a women's meeting at church and now I'm home and just kind of doing some cleaning around the house and getting things ready for tomorrow and then I just felt like in the baking mood. Sometimes my brain goes there when I'm stressed. Uh, baking is one of those ways that I relieve that stress and so I decided to make some zucchini bread. Uh, I'm going out of town next week and it's just something easy that you can travel with so that you don't have to go out for things like breakfast and stuff like that. You can just have uh, your breakfast with you. And so I've tried a new recipe where I'm working on it now. It's from the Food Network website. So we'll see how it is. I halved everything because um, I'm one person and the recipe made two loaves, I think. I want to make sure to link that uh, down below so you can try out the recipe if you want. Um, I think it's by Paula Dean. So she has a good rep, <laughs> so we'll see how good it is. Um, but yeah, so let's get baking. So I have all of my ingredients here. Um, here's all the wet stuff, uh, lemon juice, water, oil, um, and here we have our flour and our sugar. Here's all your like spices and things. So salt, baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg. Um, yeah, all of that is in there. And our eggs are here, and our zucchini, of course, because it's the zucchini bread. Now, the website and the recipe calls for chopped walnuts, and I don't know, but I just don't think nuts go in bread. It's just my personal opinion. And so whenever it calls for something like nuts, sometimes I substitute with chocolate, because how could you go wrong with chocolate? <laughs> so we have chocolate chips instead of walnuts. So let's get mixing. So I've got everything mixed and I know the recipe called for two loaves but I halved it which means one and then one thing I've invested in is this mini loaf pan because I am one person and so it's an easy way to make things into smaller portions and then what I've learned is that uh, breads and things like this can freeze really well and so you can just keep out however many you want and then put the rest in the freezer and pull out a loaf at a time or however many you need. Also it makes good if you're like sharing with people or if you want to um, give someone your bread that you've baked you can um, give them one of the smaller loaves. Just an easy way to divvy things up. So I'm at other tip I learned about this pan, uh, it doesn't work this time, but like I have filled up all of the trays. And if you don't fill up all of the trays, that's fine. But put water in whichever one you don't fill up. That way the rest of your loaves will bake evenly. That is one tip I've learned along the way with this pan. But it's all ready now, so it's going to go in the oven.